A sleep study is one of the key tests doctors use to diagnose a condition called obesity hypoventilation syndrome, or OHS. So obesity hypoventilation syndrome is a condition where people with greater than ideal body weight perpetually underbreathe. Dr. Eric Olson says OHS is more dramatic at night, but it's also present during the day. It can happen to people who are obese with a BMI of 30 or more because their bodies can't compensate for the stress of the extra weight. Oxygen levels go down and carbon dioxide levels go up. Over the short term, OHS, which is often accompanied by obstructive sleep apnea, causes poor sleep, headaches, daytime sleepiness, and a general feeling of being unwell. Over the long haul, you start to get um, complications primarily related to the heart. As oxygen levels drop, vessels in the lungs constrict, making it hard for the right side of the heart to pump blood from the extremities back to the lungs for oxygenation. Over time, the right ventricle becomes enlarged and eventually wears out, causing heart failure. If you're diagnosed with OHS, it's important to get on the right treatment, and that involves using a positive airway pressure device, either CPAP or a bi-level pressure device. CPAP, which is also used for sleep apnea, keeps the throat open when you sleep by providing continuous inward flowing air pressure. A bi-level device boosts the breath taken by the patient. The bigger the breath, the more oxygen goes in and the more carbon dioxide goes out. A sleep study can help determine the appropriate PAP device and settings. So patients who start PAP therapy feel better very quickly. Dr. Olson says you should see a health care provider if you're obese and have symptoms that include snoring, halted breathing at night, waking up at night, daytime drowsiness, swollen legs, or shortness of breath. The right treatment can help you get a better night's sleep and therefore a better quality of life. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.